Hello everybody. Today in this not so long video, we'll talk about United Kingdom because UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has confirmed that now he's looking to curb immigration to limit the number of people entering UK because recently UK has seen a spike in the net immigration. So this is going to affect the international students. If you are one of those international students who is planning to study in UK in 2023 or onwards, you should definitely watch this video till the end because we'll discuss what is this announcement all about, what might be done and also how this will affect you, all the prospective international students who are interested in studying in UK in the next few years. Okay, so what has happened is that the year ending on June 2022, UK has witnessed the highest number of new immigrants. So net new immigration for UK was more than 500,000. So what do they mean by net new immigrants? Basically from July 2021 to June 2022 in the one year time span, more than 1.1 million new immigrants uh, came to UK. But more than 500,000 UK residents actually left UK as well. But they were still left with more than 500,000 new immigrants, which is a record high for UK. UK has never witnessed such high numbers of immigration. So the UK government led by Rishi Sunak is seeing this as a big problem for them because the net new immigrants increasing in the UK, which means the UK's population is increasing and is putting pressure on the housing supplies, on the healthcare, and many other uh, aspects of the services that the government has to provide. And they're taking this very seriously because not just UK's Home Minister Suela Braverman has talked about it, but also PM Rishi Sunak. Interestingly, both of them are products of immigration. But of course, they are Brits, hold highest ranks in UK government, so their duties towards UK are more important. The government actually is thinking in detail about curbing the immigration for international students because they have recognized that the UK is attracting a very high number of international students and these students don't just come alone, they come along with their families. So government is now thinking to curb immigration in this area of international students as well. So the PM's spokesperson has said that we are considering all options to make sure the immigration system is delivering and that does include looking at the issue of student dependence and low quality degrees. So one suggestion that is coming up which is being highlighted is that the students should be only going to the top universities and colleges of UK. Now I don't know what do they actually mean by top of them. Maybe they want to talk about the top 10 colleges of UK. Maybe they will list out those colleges in the upcoming days if they decide to go along with this strategy they're also thinking of banning their uh, family members so international students might not be able to come along with their family members but all of these decisions are not finalized yet they are being talked about and there are high probabilities that you know one of these decisions would be taken eventually but this decision is not going to be easy for them because international students add around 10 billion dollars of revenue to the UK's economy every year and experts also say that the main source of earning for UK universities is the fee earned through international students and because of that high fee that international students have to pay the British students actually get to pay a lower fee. So if they take such harsh steps that they limit the international students only to top UK universities, then many UK universities might even face bankruptcy. So there need to be a balance between these two. So yes, it is certainly not a good news for all those international students who were thinking of going to UK uh, in 2023 or onwards. So if you are one of those students, what do you need to do? So these rules and policies take time to implement. However, Rishi Sunak's government would actually not wait for too long for these. So maybe in the next five, six months, we might see something like this when they put a limit on a number of international uh, you know, students attending certain colleges or universities, and that would severely impact your UK dream. So maybe you got to know about this at the right time. 
so if you were thinking of going to uk at least start preparing for it sometime next year start now don't waste time if you were thinking of going uh, for the september intake think of the may intake you haven't got a lot of time now you never know what would happen what policy are they going to introduce and how they are going to limit immigration so guys the key takeaway for all the international students who are thinking of going to uk for further studies please act as early as possible don't waste time if you were thinking of 2024 think of 2023 if you were thinking of september intake think of the may intake as and in when uk officially releases more details about this i'll definitely make a detailed video so thanks a lot for watching this video guys if you have any questions any comments please put them down in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you know what to do click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video thanks again